Hello and welcome. Now we're going to look at how we draw something in Fusion 360, do the computer-aided manufacturing process to get it ready for our large full-sheet CNC machine. So at the moment I'm in the design workspace. <clears throat> I'm going to click beside origin here on this eye to turn on the origin so I can see what way I'm oriented. I'm going to say create sketch, click on the flat plane, <clears throat> zoom out a bit, select two-point rectangle, click here, click here, say 350, tab 250, enter, zoom out a bit, now I have a rectangle, click on circle, create a center diameter circle here, say 40 millimeters, 40, enter. I want to precise, um, precisely place this circle. Do that with dimension or pressing D. Click on the circle, click on the edge. Say I want it exactly 75, enter, millimeters in. <clears throat> click on the circle, click on this edge. Specify I want it exactly 60, enter, millimeters in that way. Click on finish sketch. Say I want to do some other things. I'll just rotate it a bit like this. Now at the moment this is a sketch with no thickness, so I want to click on extrude, extrude it up, 12, enter, millimeters. And say I want to do some other things, like uh, modify it in some way. I can, you know, choose the fillet tool, choose that exact edge. Say I want to fill it in with a radius of 50, enter. So this is a solid, we can modify it as one normally would in fusion. Let's say I also want to make a, a hole, put it there, we'll specify that we want it to be 2.5 millimeters wide and 12 millimeters deep. Now it's there. So let's say we've now finished drawing whatever it is we want to create. Now I click here on which workspace are we in. I go over to the manufacture workspace. Now here, the first thing one has to do is make a setup. Setup is, you know, what material and what machine. What are we going to do? So I click here on setup, new setup. Select which machine. I have them here, My Machines, Local, Blue Elephant, CNC, select, Operation Type, Milling, yes. <clears throat> and what it's done is it's drawn a stock, the material, we're going to cut this out of, it draws just a little bit bigger than the actual thing we're making. I don't actually want that, I want to specify that this is actually a whole sheet of plywood we're going to be working on. So instead of relative size box, I'm going to say fixed size box, and I'm going to make it 1220 wide, 12 millimeters high, and 2440 millimeters long. And the moment the, the model is placed in the center, I don't want that. I want it, say, 10 millimeters in from the left side and 10 millimeters in from the front side. And we'll just click on OK here. And now we can see, now it does actually look like a whole sheet of plywood with a small part we're cutting out here in the corner. We're missing one thing, the zero point is still in the middle of the sheet of plywood. We actually want it to be down here in this corner, the lower left corner. So I'll just click on my setup again. We can edit it, no problem. <coughs> Setup, work coordinate system, stock box point, yes, box point. We have to select one. We have to zoom in here so we're sure we get the right one. And we want it to be the top lower left corner of the sheet of plywood. Now you can see the y-axis is the long one, the x-axis is the not so long one, and the z is up and down. And that's exactly as we want it. So now we've made our, our setup. It knows what machine we're going to use. It knows what kind of material is going to be in the machine. Now what we need to do is 
do some actual toolpaths. <clears throat> and often it's enough to just do a 2D contour. And that's all I'm going to show you today. The other ones are super for all kinds of other things, but the simplest is just the 2D contour. And that's all I'll be showing in this video. So I click on 2D contour. And we need to know what tool we're going to use. So I say select tool. And here I have my tool libraries here in local. I have one called Blue Elephant CNC. And I'm going to choose this 3mm flat end mill, which is what we use for most things. Select. Now we have to go through all these tabs one by one and change some things. Selected contour. Nothing is selected at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to select the things we want cut. And important, select the bottom, not the top, right? We're cutting down to the bottom. So I'm going to click here on the bottom of the edge and I'm going to click here on the bottom of the circle. So now we have two chains selected. Then we go into the heights. We want the retract height to be 10 millimeters over. We want the this retract height to be 10 millimeters over as well. We want the feed height to be 10 millimeters over. And though that's just so that if the, the wood is not completely flat, we're not going to mar it by being too close to it. The bottom height, this is an important one to remember, should be minus one millimeter. So we do actually cut through the wood plus a little bit, so we actually cut through it all. So remember this one, bottom height minus one millimeter. In passes, the thing to remember is down here, multiple depths, check this box, and select a suitable maximum roughing step down. How much can the tool cut in one go? And here in, in soft plywood, seven millimeters will be very suitable. So it's first gonna cut down to seven millimeters, and then it's gonna cut the rest of the way down to the 12 plus one, the 13 millimeters. Then we click OK. So now we have a setup, and under this setup we have a contour. And now it's actually worth checking OK is what we have done sane. We do that, go up to here to Actions, Simulate. And then I can press Play, and it will show us what it's actually planning on doing. Note it cuts the circle first. It's very important to cut inner things first and outer things afterwards. And note also it does everything twice. First it cuts down to 7 millimeters, and then it cuts all the way down to 13 millimeters. So this looks right, actually. It looks like we've got it all right, and it's going to do something that's sane. Note, you can't do anything until you close the simulate dialog there. But we also had this hole, right? So maybe we should add another operation with a different tool just to show how you do that. And drilling is over here. So drilling, drill. <clears throat> Select a tool. Local, blue elephant. And the only drill we have in this machine, so it's the only one that's shown, is a 2.5mm drill. Select. Geometry. Selected. Nothing. So we go over here and we select this hole. And I, I want all these retract heights and feed heights again to be 10 millimeters over the wood, not too close to it. All that looks good. So let's see what happens now. I click on the setup because I want to simulate the whole thing in the order it's doing it. And then I click on simulate and I click on play and we're going to see what it's going to do. So first it's going to CNC mill this big hole, then it's going to CNC mill the edge twice, two depths. Then it's going to go and change to a drill and drill a hole. So we have the problem that this is in the wrong order sheet will be loose by the time we drill this hole. It might have moved. So I'm going to close this simulation. I'm just going to drag, take the 2D contour here and drag it down under the drill. So now it's going to drill first and do the 2D contour afterwards. And now we're actually ready. We click on setup, right click or click with two fingers on a Mac and we say post process. Give it a sane name, 
Calculus test 01. OK. Now it's asking us where to save it. We'll save it there, and it's also going to open it in text editor for us, so we can just have a look at what this is. Well, this is the G-code. This is what the machine is going to run. So we can see it's giving us some content. This is the Blue Elephant CNC. It's changing to tool drill number one, which is T2. It's going to do some stuff. Then it's going to start this 2D contour. It's going to change to tool number one. This looks good. This looks great. So the next step is save the file, the Nicholas Testo one NC file on a USB stick. And then we will go over to the machine, and that's what the next video is about.